as we move to the port one of this uh episode of the RGL, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go again, Mahina Po Gaming versus Never Walk Alone. Yeah, Philippines at the blue side uh, of it went for uh, the Esmeralda side lane against a Badang. That is actually interesting because the Esmeralda can actually steal shields from this Badang. But uh, sometimes when you play against this hero, you actually underestimate his damage capabilities. But what's interesting here is that you can actually um, e you can easily uh, get away and dodge out that fist crack with. Um, Mobility skills like flicker or uh, probably diving skills, such as the falling star moon. So, right now we shall see because again, uh, right, the oh meta, uh, it is the side lanes which who which is actually dictating the the tempo of the game. And there you yeah. go, that's the first blood. Yeah, it does feel like there is, is a foil the uh, invading attempt there coming in from the grok. Oh, I'm actually very curious about the side lane here uh, on the Esmeralda and Badang. Eh. And how you yeah. will uh, have these two <laughs> key heroes? How you will have yeah. these two key heroes scale up into the late game? You can also yeah. cannot deny. You can also uh, cannot deny the fact of having a Bruno in this game, which yeah. can also uh, come out to become a, a clear threat on the late game. Yeah. I think uh, in terms of late game, Paolo as the Bruno can really uh, get going. I think he has the upper hand because all of the heroes here from the side of Never Walk Alone are melee heroes, mm. plus. It's uh, it's really good for the Bruno to uh, actually hit them with the wave of the world plus the Esmeralda. I think here, as the Esmeralda is doing a good job in just uh, kiting out this uh, Badang, he is at level 3. Meanwhile, yeah. we are looking at a potential skirmish here in the bottom side. Yeah. In Philippines now threatening the bottom the bottom tower. And he's now at level four. That's the problem here. Esmeralda can make the jump after this one. It doesn't matter though. They're gonna be killing without having matter. to use the ultimate from the Esmeralda Amate. Rasu's fire will be burnt out. And of course consume beer by Mahina Apu Gaming. Mr. Paolo just uh utilizing the two buffs set up and use utilizing the damage from this Bruno. I like it. Level five and immediately rotating to the mid lane. Doesn't even uh, use it. Uh, did not even. He did not even use his um, purify in that in that team fight. So still, they can take take more uh, fights here after that specific skirmish in the bottom. Probably uh, going to uh, convert this to a turtle take. They're waiting for it. Yep. And uh, I think uh, Team Mahina Po Gaming. It's not really Mahina. It's not really. It's not really weak yes, with, yes. Yeah. with this type of rotation, man. Well, uh, uh, you always yeah. say that, eh? If, if you're like going for a tournament, you're, you're gonna be yes. saying uh, we're just weak, yeah. na? Just yeah, so you just can weak. hide your your true yeah. strength. Your strengths. Yes, definitely, definitely. I, I. It's actually understandable why the Grok is going for this aggressive invade because of the retribution. But me, here you go, another. Team fight in the bottom side. Nice wild char charge from Josh. He ain't a baby no more. <laughs> Josh getting the orange buff and getting a clutch for the net. Mahina for gaming. Owning this game yeah, in the yeah. first four minutes. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, Mahina for gaming is actually getting the lead inch by inch, but it's not. It's actually already in fits. Or maybe even in meters, yes. ladies and gentlemen. But at least they were not able to secure that blue buff, or rather, still that blue buff. It was secured though by that Valor Kazoo. But still, the damage has been done. Two towers are now yes. out for yes. Never Walk Alone. There are a lot of entry points from uh, for the side of Mahina Gaming to actually invade more uh, objectives in the jungle. Again, they have the retribution. They have the grab. Uh, yeah, they have the Grok, they control the tempo on uh, getting the jungle. And look at this, now Team Never Walk Alone are now confused on uh, what to give to the Granger, right? They're, they really don't know uh, if they're going to engage. Again, you have the potential threat of the Kaja. So, let's see here, they need pokes, right? They need to land oh, oh. all of these Dead Sonatas, just like that! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that was very interesting from the Bruno. Dancing around, actually, against the mm -hmm. Badang. It will be a matter of completing the kill, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, Mega Yak kill. Mega Kill as well by Ivory against Amaterasu. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. A one for one trade. But still, I think it was a win for Team Malaysia as they were able to trade their tank for a 
for their uh, marksman. For the enemy yeah, marksman. I think that is a value trade for never walk along alone. Just what, uh, just like what I said, that they have books in their arsenal. Okay, they can actually bait out uh, certain skills and just go for the dead sonata and the fish scrap to poke someone out. Uh, again, mahina po gaming. They uh, actually want to go in and just extend their way and hope for the best to life steal and hope for the best to pick someone out with the Kadja Divine Judgment. Yeah, yeah but as I say this, there's the, there the slow from the side and man, they cannot actually kill Lei. Yes, yes, they cannot actually kill Lei here. That is no surprise. Also, a tab is especially counter that Inferno activated for that part. The main damage yeah. is actually of the Granger and that depends if his Rhapsody will make its connection. Not to mention yeah. the sustain from the Katarina Inferno again. But let's see here. I think the obvious threat here is still of the Brang, but it would be very hard. Maybe just here. Ooh. He has. He is. Uh, of course, nature, power of nature activated on that part. Glorious Ooh. pathway will be used. And that's going to be the Bruno dishing out some heavy balls in wow. the face here of Team Walk. Never walk alone, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be taking the stone there on the Glock. And let's see here as they want to destroy the face of Fast Game. Fast Game here. Now that he's destroyed, he's going to be his turn. He will be the next one as the dive and the embrace here of the Esmeralda will pay dividends for the wow. side here of Team Mahina lang kami. Team Mahina wow. game. Mahina po game. Yeah. Paolo doing all the work here. 3-1-5. That's 8 kills in total. 80% kill participation from this Bruno. And now with the Berserker Fury, I think uh, for Team Mahina po gaming, they are now capitalizing on their power spikes yeah. with this uh, with this Bruno on the bounty and uh, having the crits from the Berserker Fury, Fury. It's going to be hard for the Kufra and the Hylos to enter. But again, uh, you just you don't want this Bruno to roll, you know. And Paolo, he knows this and he knows what he's capable of. So that's why Team Mahina for Gaming they're running wild, and I think. Uh, they could actually end the game in it, in it. as early as possible. They have, they, they have a Grok, they have the threat of that uh, Kaja, making every formation of defense here by Team oh, who never yeah. walk along awkward. And just like that, there's no backup there against the high loss. Uh, you can feel how thin the skin is of this high loss against the damage delivered here by Mahina. Mahina yeah, and uh, Josh just proving that he ain't a baby no more. Landing all of the clutch wild charges, of course, with this beautiful skin. I think it is now clear, Shinbu, that we can say that um, Mahina Po Gaming is leading by a huge mar margin. Also, shout outs to uh, <laughs> the people in Rock. Uh, I did not read, uh, Shinib did not read that. Uh, Rakas, I don't Rakas, know. I think, yeah. Yeah. The location here of uh, Mahina Po Gaming. Let us see here. They're sealing the doors here of a uh, team. Uh, of team Never Walk Alone as they prepare for a push, an inhibitor turret push. Let's see how will this be completed. You have to take note that still there is the threat of the Badang. There is the threat of the Kukra crowd control. That's the one I'm curious with. And now what is burned would be of the Death Sonata dropping Kaja below half her. I think the damage here from Never Walk Alone is just not enough. Uh, to kill uh, two or three heroes, yes, probably we can burst one, but again, you only have a few bullets in your pockets uh, with this Granger. So right now, I think uh, the thing for them to do is just be patient and land specific skills to specific targets and uh, hope for the best that they can kill and burst one down and reset once more. Because it, I think Never Walk Alone it's going to be a long walk yeah. for them to victory here, for a comeback here. And yeah. I don't know, man. Nine minutes in, alone. look at this. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of freedom to even use your ultimate against attack there. And just like that, everyone will be so squishy. Let's see here. Flicker gets burned against the Kufra, who zoom his life. Gets burned too. But I have no nothing to actually throw against the Kaja. It, does, it doesn't matter though. As the Kaja yeah. will retreat into the base, there is freedom for the members of Mahina Pool Gaming to go for the push on these inhibitor turrets up top, up mid. And just wow. like that, it will give them a lot of freedom as well to take this Lord. Mahina Po Gaming just owning the side lanes right now. And like what you've said, the Lord is up. Here we go. I think this is going to be the nail in the coffin, Shinbu. 
for Mahina Po Gaming. Uh, with this, uh, they can now easily go and push one. Uh, mind you, the the Divine Judgment is also online. So, man, uh, Mahina Po Gaming. They're wow. even using it. They're, they're even using it against the Hilo. That's the that's the running problem. They're managing. Yep. It is it is a, it is a testament of what lead what lead they have in hand against. Yep. Uh, yeah. Look at this, man. Uh, the Kaja, the Kaja, uh, completing the mask plus the, having the peaking time. So that is maximum uptime from the Divine Judgment. Never walk alone. I think. They ain't walking no more, man, because Team Mahina Po Gaming is running wild in their base. The Lord attacking the main base of the game. Paolo pre hitting from oh. the back. It's over. It's over from Mahina Po Gaming. Yeah, that is massive. That that is, yeah, that was a very massive wild charge there by the Grok. He has been, has been very impacting Victory. for the side here of Mahina Po Gaming against never walk alone still mad props to never walk alone i do feel it's not a super 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 one-sided game but uh of course uh mahina 